Hello friends, welcome at Modern Classical Fencing Summer Camp Vlog Day 1. I always promise myself that I will do a vlog for you because I'd like you to know how it is at MCF Summer Camp because it's really great and maybe then some of you would like to come here but every year <laughs> I'm so tired every day that I'm too lazy to do it and this time it's the first time when I actually managed to force myself to do anything except fencing so let's hope that tomorrow I will be equally brave as today we have nine days so one out of nine it's still not a very bad Mm, ratio <laughs> let's lie to ourselves it's not bad okay so the camp I arrived yesterday uh, we always get to the place on the day zero and then in the morning the next day mm, we start our training session I arrived yesterday with my huge suitcase full of stuff <laughs> and it was raining cats and dogs the whole day but the good result of it was that we had really beautiful mist all over the place. We are in, mon in mountains, by the way, if you didn't know that. Uh, so they were just spectacular, like mist or fog. I don't know, like thick white mist. Today the weather is much better because it's not raining. Obviously, when you are on a spot camp, you don't want to have a lot of sun because then it gets freaking hot and you are sweaty and tired and you don't want to do anything so for now the weather is perfect because I'm a little bit chilly right now so when I have my fencing gear on me then the temperature is still fine <laughs> because of the coronavirus we don't have as big group as usual usually we aim to have like 25 people in a group and the car is coming behind my back so we'll probably so probably the sound will be cre crappy. I moved here because I believe that light, I light, light, light is better here. Uh, so usually we aim to have around 25 people at the camp, but this year uh, due to coronavirus, some people who have uh, learning classes, for example, at the universities, the examination session was postponed a little bit. So a lot of students couldn't come because they have their exams right now and also some people are scared to go on holidays anywhere because of the virus which is totally fine uh, and some are scared to travel with trams and public communication means by public communication transportation whatever by trams and trains and buses so the result is that we have 15 people uh, at this camp and most of them are advanced students and people who are less advanced well we don't have uh, totally beginners which is great because we can do a lot of advanced exercises which usually uh, we can't do as much as much advanced exercises when we have less advanced people obviously so the first day today the breakfast is always at 9 p.m. Uh, <laughs> 9 a.m. which means that you can wake up at 8:45 quarter between quarter between 9 quarter to 9 and go to grab some breakfast in your pajama so pajamas so that was my pl my plan to wake up 15 minutes before breakfast but of course some nice neighbor decided to do some sort of renovation and he was hitting one metal object with another metal object probably hammer i have no idea but he was doing it since 5 a.m so i was waking up constantly just to fall asleep again and crying after my lost sweet dreams breakfast breakfast was cool because today was pancake day which is my favorite day at the camp. We always, there are always day. 
who cares about pancakes really? <laughs> pancakes with jam, scrambled eggs and also a lot of really delicious stuff as usual. All you can eat. Then we went to the gym. We always have like six hours of training every day. We started, started the day with some EP. Mainly details about engagement, <laughs> but not, you know, rela relationship engagement, but fencing and engagement, obviously. So how to do it very in a very detailed way, way focusing both on a blade work and footwork before lunch, before, you know, because the, the matter is complicated because our Polish way of eating do not um, fit at all to English vocabulary. So I think that as at the camp eating is a very important part of it, then we have to sort our vocabulary at the beginning of this episodes. So in Poland we have a breakfast in the morning, as most of people do, I believe, and at camp it's 9 a.m. and then we have our big meal in the middle of the day. So it's not lunch, it's not dinner, because dinner usually you have in the evening. But for the purpose of this videos, I don't know, I will call it lunch because it's easier for me. So big meal at 2 p.m. And then we have small uh, meal at the evening, in the evening. So I guess we should call it tea in a British manner, I guess. But on the camp it's big meal because on the camp every meal is big. <laughs> but yeah, this is the pattern. So uh, after the EP um, techniques, I actually omitted the whole footwork part which was at, at the beginning of the camp. <laughs> Wait a sec, I have to rewind no, it in my head. Mainly to um, work uh, on our on guard position because there is so many mistakes you can do in your on guard position. So yeah, we did that, then we did EP technique and then some general uh, exercises to build your strength and coordination, stuff like rolling forward, rolling backward and I don't know, sit up, push ups, but mixed in more interesting exercises. General movement exercises, you know, like monkeys, bears, and all of this fancy exercises which are uh, popular recently. After lunch a little bit of saber and then our favorite part of the day, except of pancakes, <laughs> so rapier exercises. Today we had really great stuff, some really cool drills, a little bit more advanced than last year, and then some pasta with cheese to beautiful to end the day beautifully. So to sum up, the first day is always the most exciting one because you meet all people you haven't seen for such a long time and also you're not very tired yet so you can do every exercise with you know 100% of power and 100% of focus. After such a long time of not exercising due to lockdown I feel a little bit stiff so uh, I can't do everything as energetic as I'd like to, but as we still have nine days, I don't want to rush too much just to, you know, get <laughs> hurt the next day. Especially that me and my spine are not getting along very well recently. I don't know why. Uh, so it is a little bit painful, but I keep my fingers crossed that we will survive the whole camp because I don't want to miss anything, to be honest, because we do too much cool things this year. Okay, guys, that's all for today because it's getting a little bit dark, but, uh, well, I don't really have any free time here, so I just ate the dinner and recorded this for you. Let's hope that tomorrow I won't wake up totally, not wasted, totally sour, like with my whole body aching, I have my own pillow because it, this is one of the most important things when you go to the sport camp to have a very comfortable pillow, so maybe it will be fine. So that's all for now. You can admire beautiful surrounding 
lovely mountains. Well, it's dark, so you can't really see much, but you can believe me that it's cool. And down there in the valley, there are cows. And on the other side of the hill, there are a lot of goats. So this is one of the things which can wake you up in the morning. Goats and sheep doing Chciałeś coś powiedzieć? Aha, bo słuchaj, takie dziwne ruchy i pomyślałam, że coś głupiego mówię o tym treningu.